Hey pharmacist! Wigovi was just released in Canada and a lot of patients are talking about this weight loss drug. But let's stop right there. We really should focus on it being a medication used for obesity, which is a chronic medical condition. Wigovi is indicated for those who meet one of two strict criteria. There's something really important to highlight before we get to this criteria. That is, Wigovi is indicated as an adjunct. Notice the word adjunct, or in combination with, a reduced calorie diet, an increased physical activity for chronic weight management. The criteria is that it's for adults with either an initial body mass index, or BMI, of 30 or greater, or adults with a BMI of 27 or greater in the presence of at least one weight-related comorbidity such as high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, or obstructive sleep apnea. And many aren't aware, but it's also indicated for pediatrics aged 12 to less than 18 years of age with specific age and sex-specific cutoffs to be eligible for treatment. To explain how Wigovi works, you can tell your patients that Wigovi is similar to a natural hormone our bodies have called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1, and that it's released from the intestine after a meal. Wigovi works by binding to the same places that this natural hormone does, but it doesn't get broken down as fast and thus causes you to feel fuller and less hungry. Now, this is significant for people who are, for example, genetically predisposed to a deficiency in or resistance to GLP-1 as they don't get the same signals that others get. And for these individuals, trying harder or having more willpower isn't really the solution and GLP-1 agonists can really help. Studies have shown that in combination with lifestyle changes, patients taking Wigovi achieved a mean weight loss of 15% or 15 kilos, 33 pounds, maintained over 68 weeks along with other health benefits. But if patients are seeing results, explain that long-term use may be needed to help maintain weight loss as again, obesity is a chronic condition. Wigovi is an injection that's administered under the skin or subcutaneously once weekly on the same day each week with or without meals. Now tip, recommend to your patient that they can note the chosen day of the week, for example, Wednesday, on the carton to help remember which day they are taking it. The best places to give the injections are the front of the thighs, the stomach or upper arm. It should not be injected into a vein or muscle. The recommended weekly dose is 2.4 milligrams once weekly and this is reached by starting with a dose of 0.25 milligrams, then increasing every four weeks until the 2.4 milligrams dose is reached. Patients can work with their pharmacist to adjust the pace at which the dose is increased based on how well they tolerate the medication. Wigovi is a clear and colorless solution and comes as both a disposable, pre-filled, single-use pen and as a pre-filled, multi-use, disposable pen delivering four doses with four disposable needles. In case you're wondering how it compares to Ozempic, the drug used for diabetes with the same ingredient, Wigovi's maintenance dose is higher at 2.4 milligrams compared to a maximum recommended dose of Ozempic, which is at 10 milligram. The most frequently reported adverse events include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, abdominal pain, headache, and fatigue. And generally, these go away over time, but some users find taking the medication at night helps them sleep through some of these side effects. Users may also experience inflammation of the pancreas, gallbladder problems, lower blood sugar, kidney issues, increased heart rates, depression, suicidal thoughts, and serious allergic reactions. Be sure to check out the product monograph included in the link below for more information. Wigovi should not be used in combination with other semaglutide-containing drugs like Ozempic or Monjaro, which is also a GLP-1 agonist. And for individuals with type 2 diabetes, it's important to monitor blood sugar prior and during Wigovi treatment. 
Individuals should not use Wegovy if they have serious allergic reactions to the medications, those with pancreatic or renal kidney problems, those using drugs for diabetes, those who are planning or becoming pregnant or breastfeeding, and those with a history of thyroid cancer, particularly medullary thyroid cancer. Again, refer to the product monograph included below for more details. In summary, these drugs bring light to the fact that obesity is a serious medical condition. The consequences of this are that people living with obesity face substantial bias and stigma, which contributes to poor health outcomes and has profound impacts on individuals and their families. Medications like Wegovy hopefully can help change the narrative about how obesity is viewed and recognize that it is a complicated medical condition. I hope this quick overview was helpful. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, pharmacists.